Okay, so just a random video. I've been getting a lot of people asking me basically um um how do I um find owners of these properties? So let's say for instance you're driving around for dollars and you want to find the owners of these properties. So here in New Jersey um let me turn the volume on this thing a little bit down because it looks like it's super high okay so in new jersey we have this website here so um all you do is basically let's say for instance someone's driving for dollars they contact me they say hey i got this pro i just saw this property it looks kind of beat up so first thing i would do i would go to this website here and you can basically go to whatever county it is and then you can go to whatever city um, and then you can pull up the property information. You just basically type in um, the, the address right there. Once you do that, um, I mean, I'm sure your county probably has a website too. Or if they don't find out, um, find out from the county clerk you can call the county clerk and you can ask them they should be able to tell you how do you locate property owners if they don't have it online you might just have to go to the courthouse right so um from there i go to anywho.com which is the white pages now you can do search by name you know what i mean or you can do search by phone number right if you have, let's say a neighbor gave you the number, you can do a reverse search. Or you can do it by the address. You just type in the address and something should pop up. Another another um, website I use is fastpeoplesearch.com, right? So now... You can go to fastpeoplesearch.com. You can basically search the same way. By name, by phone number, or by address. So this, to me, is more accurate than white pages. I mean, white pages, is it's good to have both. It's good to check both. But to me, this one is more accurate, and it gives you more details. So run your your information on there and see what pops up this thing right here this website has a lot of information right so that's basically how i find most of my um people i'll just immediately i'll go right here and type in the address and then it'll pop up the owner will pop up once i once i get the owner's name then i would either punch it in this website and then or I would punch it in this website, uh, not this website, uh, the the uh, anywho.com, either this website or this website. I would double check on both. And then from there, um, um, I would basically have a phone number for them. Now, prior to doing that, before I call them, what I do is I use this website right here, Total View realestate.com i'll punch in the address here and it'll basically give me some form of um what some form of number of what the property is worth so a lot of people ask me how do you run your comps this is basically how i run my comps i just punch in the address in here and it gives me a ballpark now when you're doing deals you're never going to be 100 percent accurate so whatever this website spits to me, I try to pick the low end of that number and I'll, I'll just take that number and let's say I call the homeowner, right? And the homeowner tells me that the property does need work. I would ask him ballpark it. How, do, how much do you think it would cost for me to put in the, in the property for it to be, um, for me to bring it back to life to where it looks brand new? So what do you think? They'll give me a number. Once they give me that number, I go to this website right here, investformore.com. They have a calculator in here. 
and you can find the calculator and the free tools right so now I basically just punch in the after repair value I punch in the cost what I think it's worth uh, what actually the repair cost is basically what they told me that it's gonna be that is gonna cost me to um, put into the property so now um, it spits out a number and this number is obviously the 70% rule. It's a 70% calculator. So it'll spit this number out. Now, let's say I wanted to make 10,000 on this deal. I would put negative 10,000, right? So this would be my, um, the most, the max allowable offer is right there, which means I would start off maybe at 110 and then hopefully, you know, at 110, that's a $16,000 deal. And then hopefully they say, okay. And if they don't say, okay, we got 6,000 negotiating room so I can make my 10 G's on this deal. And then I'll put it under contract and then I find out someone who wants to buy it. Now I got a property worth two thirty. Needs thirty five thousand in work. Our estimate for this is what our uh, cash buyer would would want the property for. So if I want to make ten G's on the deal, I put negative ten G's. If you want to make fifteen, you put negative fifteen. Whatever you want to make, negative whatever. And now over here it spits out the number. So this is basically how quick it is to just evaluate. Um, to just evaluate deals really quick you just go here you know like I have a few guys driving around for dollars right now I'm at home you know I have a couple guys they're driving around how did I find them I post an ad on Craigslist the ad basically says earn three thousand dollars per month by driving around and uh sending me and locating properties for me any properties that look run down in a nice neighborhood you take a picture and take the address and you send them to me. Now, once they take the picture and they take the address and they send it to me, I basically find out what county and what city. And then I punch in the address. And then I find the homeowner, the homeowner's name. And then from that point on, I go here and I type in the name. Sometimes, you, you know... There's a bunch of, like, let's say if it's John Doe, there's a, a million John Doe or John Smith. There's a million John Smith. So you might want to search it by address. So once you search it by address, um, the address will pop up and now I'll have a phone number or I'll go to this website and type in by address or by name and I'll find a phone number, right? But before I call them, I just go to Total View real quick. I punch in the address and it gives me comps. Once I know what the comps are in ballpark, I basically find out what the repair estimate is. I punch in what the property is worth. I punch in the ballpark. I get the ballpark um, estimate from the homeowner. Once I get the ballpark estimate from the homeowner, then um, I just punch it in here and these numbers spits out and I know I want to make 10% you know on the off the arv normally i try to make 10 percent, but for just education purposes just just rough number estimates right now i just put 10 g's but on a property that's worth 230 i would want to make 23 right 10 percent. so i put 10 percent there and then um it spits out this number which is the most that i can afford to pay so I would start maybe like five, six G's lower, you know, um, and I don't always just give them one one flat number. A trick that I learn is when you're making your offer, let's say this number is 116. Offer them 115, 750. That's a trick that I learned because most people, if they see 115, 750, they're going to say, uh, can you just do 116? Because they want that round number. Now, let's say, for instance, you tell them 116 flat. 
they're going to try to say, ah, can you just do 120? Because 120 is more of a round number. You get it? So that's why you always want to put something here on this end. I always put 750. It's just a trick that I learned from other salespeople, and it works. You know, if you tell somebody, I'll pay you $4.58, they'll just say, man, just make, just give me $5, <laughs> right? So if, if you tell them, I'll give you, um, let's just say I'll give you $4, then they'll say, just give me $5. That's a whole dollar versus 15 cents, right? So, I mean, if you said 485, you know, you're 15 cents away. They'll probably just go up to five. So that 15 cents versus a whole dollar, that's a big difference. All right. So um, that's about it. I mean, I use these four websites. I got people driving around for dollars for me. They basically send me the information and I basically go here and here to try to retrieve the phone numbers. Um. And that's if you don't want to pay for Deal Machine, you know. If you don't want to pay for Deal Machine, you know, nowadays we have Deal Machine. Deal Machine does all that for you. So, but starting out, if you don't want no bills and you just want something simple that you can do yourself, these are the four websites you need right there. You know, you use these four websites. The County uh, Assessment Record Search. You're going to have to find out what your county is. But if you're in New Jersey, you already have this. Boom. You know, everything's here. You can find any property. All right, guys. That's about it. I hope you guys understand. And I hope you guys are learning. Feel free to share this video. Also, there's a link below to my cash app. If you found value in this information, feel free to donate a dollar, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever you feel is right. Whatever you feel this information is worth, you can go ahead and donate. Because I, I see a lot of people getting good value out of my videos, but refuse to support me. They won't even share my videos or they won't even, like, I don't get it. You know, if someone's taking the time to give you information, you have to reward them. Because they really don't have to put this information out there. You know what I mean? They really don't have to spend their time trying to make you better. But at the same time, you know, I like to see people do good. I just don't want people to like feel stuck. I like to help people. So I put this information out there. But also support me as well. You know? Let's try to... um also, if you guys have any questions, any questions, anything, because your questions basically help me create more videos for you. That way I can help the new guy who just has no idea, who just knows nothing and just wants to create a better life for themselves and their family. I, I get a satisfaction knowing that, you know, someone who just has no idea about this business just came in and now they're able to feed their family from this business like for me that's the joy i get out of it because when i was starting out man i would ask everyone for help and no one would help me and i used to get pissed off i i you know i i was frustrated no one would help everyone wanted to charge me an arm and a leg no one ever told me, hey, I'll give you all this information for free. Donate whatever you feel is right. No one, told, no one told me this. So no one would help. So for me, you know, I enjoy doing it. Especially, it's just a video. And this video is going to last forever. It's going to be here even after I'm gone. So um, people will still have this information that they could just look up. And make a phone call, ask these people, you know, are you interested in selling? You know, I can make you a cash offer. I can close quickly. You don't have to do any repairs. I buy as is. Um, you know, if you're interested in selling, give me a call. All right. So that's it for today. Again, if you guys have any questions, just uh, comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Also, don't forget to like. 
comment, subscribe. All right.